Hey Star Warriors, Stargeek here. What you're watching right now was supposed to be my next top 10 video, but during production of that episode, a Star Wars legend passed away. This is my memorial to R2-D2 himself, Kenny Baker. On August 13th, 2016, the man inside of everyone's favorite astromech droid, Kenny Baker, died at age 81. Kenneth George Baker was born in Birmingham, England in 1934. His most iconic feature was his short stature, standing at 3 feet 8 inches, Big Ken as he was referred to by some of his closest friends, became a unique figure in the Star Wars saga. Known for his bubbly personality, Kenny brought a smile to the face of everyone he met. Being mostly interested in comedy, Kenny joined a theatrical troupe of dwarfs, a circus, and formed a stand-up comedy routine with Jack Purvis called The Minitones. When George Lucas hired Kenny for the role of R2-D2, it was his first break into the world of film. He quickly learned how to operate the droid, turning the head and wobbling the body to give the hunk of metal a lifelike personality. On top of being one half of a hilarious duo, Kenny Baker made everyone laugh outside of the costume too. He knew how to bring happiness to a cast that was mostly uninterested in the project that they were working on. Because of this, it wasn't hard to make friends on set. His comedy partner Jack Purvis actually played as the Jawa that stuns R2 in the canyon. Some of his closest co-stars included David Prowse, who played Darth Vader, Jeremy Bullock, who played Boba Fett, and Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca the Wookiee. And he really suffered for his craft, with R2's dome drilling into his head with screws and nails, falling over constantly, and barely being able to move in the heavy outfit. You can see him stumble downstairs in the actual film itself. Due to his restrictive suit, Kenny was always hidden from the public. The only point that he is visible in the saga is in this clip, where his legs are subtly visible peeking out beneath the shadow of R2's body. Somewhat ironically, Kenny himself made little to no appearances until the early 90s, when his wife Eileen tragically passed away. From that point on, Kenny enjoyed some of the best years of his life surrounded by fans and supporters. He found the Star Wars community to be unbelievably positive, with the people he met at conventions always brightening up his day. I nearly met Kenny Baker at Star Wars Celebration Anaheim, but unfortunately he wasn't feeling well. While I never met him in person, his charisma has stuck with me and countless other fans. The news of his death was shocking. It was felt everywhere throughout the Star Wars community, as if we had all lost a very important family member. His past co-stars and friends sent out their condolences via social media, clearly very sad about the loss of their old friend. Star Wars creator George Lucas said about Kenny, Kenny Baker was a real gentleman as well as an incredible trooper who always worked hard under difficult circumstances. A talented vaudevillian who could always make everybody laugh. Kenny was truly the heart and soul of R2-D2, and will be missed by all his fans and everyone who knew him. Even his co-star, C-3PO actor Anthony Daniels, who had never gotten along with the man inside R2-D2, spoke his condolences over the loss of his on-screen best friend. Kenny Baker was truly a Star Wars legend. Star Wars without R2-D2 just isn't the same. He will be missed by everyone who knew him, and will continue to inspire and excite future fans through the lovable personality of a little blue droid. You were the droid we were looking for. Thank you, Kenny Baker, and may the Force be with you. Oh, my dear friend, how I've missed you.